gentlemen. Uh, here we are. Fallout 4. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what I've been up to. I'm not even close to done in terms of uh, what I ultimately want my settlement to look like. Excuse me for adjusting my headset here. Yeah, anyway, like I said, not, not even close to done, but I wanted to give you guys a little taste of what I've been doing. Let's get away from this music. Ugh. All right. Um, so, yeah, I want to show you kind of things I've been working on. A really absurd amount of time it takes to do this stuff. Uh, Brad, I'm sure you can probably attest to that. And I'd like to see what you've been doing as well, Brad, because uh, I would like some ideas. In fact, I'm going to be I'm going to be up front. I was watch I was watching some videos on uh, watching some videos on YouTube of like how to build and things like that. And that's I got some idea ideas from that. So. Um, including the main thing that I've done. So, uh, but first I'm going to give you, okay, so obviously everyone here knows Sanctuary Hills. I'm going to give you a little tour. Um, you know, I've cleaned out these these houses here, and I'm planning on building stuff here eventually. These uh, the houses that you can remove, which are you know, the ones I've done. Obviously you can't remove these other houses. Um, you know, so I got, I'll give you a little tour here quick. Um, you know, I haven't really touched a lot of this stuff here, but we got, you know, I got my guard towers here at, at the only bridge, you know, put a little, put some defenses here. I got my water purifier down there connected to a generator. So, you know, that's providing enough water for the town here. Oh, let me get up my handy little handgun. Bam, bam. MFR. All right. Do you feel lucky, punk? Uh, I... Made it uh, so it's nighttime here because uh, I think it's going to be the best time for viewing my creation. Oh, don't look, don't look, I want to surprise you. I uh, got another power generator right here for some things on the side. Um, I'm going to kind of redo the power grid at some point because really, like, the only thing that's attached to right now is this. And that's a huge waste, just another defense mechanism. And so I was, I was essentially using this covered garage area here as like my entire base of operations. Um, I literally stored everything that I picked up in the wasteland in this toolbox. I thought that was kind of ironic. <laughs> literally everything I would, I found and saved was stored in here. This little, you know, this little, you know, eight inch by a foot and a half red toolbox. I've been putting my power armors here. I only got a couple of them. Uh, one, two, three, four here. I got a fifth one. You know, I've made, um, you know, here's, you know, some more water for everyone. Uh, and then obviously my food and my gardens, my food and gardens back here. Uh, I don't think I've done much with this, you know, you know, this is mostly uh, kind of as it all originally is. Ben, uh, you, you won't know that necessarily, but Brad and Schwinn, I'm sure you've seen plenty of sanctuary. You know, I got some other, you know, uh, security. See, there's another, uh, you know, I got some gun, you know, some, the guns, uh, you know, some some stuff over here, just to protect the perimeters. I don't think I have anything here, but I cleaned out another house, another house. I just deleted all that. Do I have another? What's in here? Bottle caps. Yes, please. Uh, you know, so it's not even really that well protected. I'm I'm getting on to that. Ooh, here's some stuff I got to get rid of. You. Oh no, I'm at the border. I can't get rid of those things. Okay, probably why I didn't. Uh, okay, so we are now, though, up, I'm gonna, I'd like to fix up these houses maybe a little bit more. I'm certainly going to build, like, a grand kind of hotel crash house for all my settlers, which i got 12 in this, and they're mostly main story, other than the people that originally came with you to Sanctuary, most of the people here are main story people that you can send to various uh, settlements that you discover. I've just been sending them all here, so i got, like, 12 people here. I think they're all asleep right now. But without any further ado, I'm going to show you my uh, house, which I did not build a custom house. That's what Brad did, I know. I think he built it on this plot, maybe on that plot. He built his own custom house. But I was really feeling the sentimental attachment uh, to my, uh, well, you know, Ben's freaking spoiler alert. You know, if you haven't played Fallout 4 by now, if you haven't played the opening 10 minutes, it's your fault. Uh, I was really feeling some sentimental attachment to uh, my deceased wife in terms of uh, shut up I'm talking uh, you know in terms of role playing my character really felt like I would be devoted to my wife even though at some point I might you know find a side piece to help me move on I haven't really decided that yet either but um, you know I feel like uh, you know I, this is the house I lived with my wife in uh, you know, my, my son who was uh, that's what I'm looking for my son who was kidnapped so I felt like I would not want to create a new house. I would want to rebuild my old house. Uh, and so that's what I've been trying to do here. So 
ta-da, here it is. Now you're going to recognize that, uh, obviously this is the regular house. I don't even have power to the side of the house yet. i got to do that too. I'd like to figure out a way if, there's like, if I can get this kind of windowed or boarded up a little bit. Which there definitely is a way. But so anyway, the biggest thing I've been working on is this, in addition to my house. Um, so that is pretty sweet. Let's go inside first. Go on the front door. I keep. I wish I could put a freaking lock on this door. All right. So first of all, yeah. Shut up. Uh, I created these magazine racks. These are all the magazines that are skills that you. When you read the magazine, you gain a skill. You can put them on this magazine racks. I've got enough that I had to make two magazine racks. There's the other one. I've kind of updated the furniture in here. You know, got some new stuff. They don't have any new rugs. It's all old rugs. You know, rugs that have been essentially like fraying and decomposing. That's kind of dumb. I can make a brand new looking couch, but I can't make a. Go away. Everyone go back to your own houses. Uh, so, you know, I've, uh, it's stupid that I can make brand new looking furniture, but not brand new looking rugs. Also stupid that I can make a TV, but there's only one channel and it's that. So, yeah, I've kind of updated it in here a little bit. Uh, you know, put in some lighting because this light is obviously busted. So I put in that light, which is light. I put in that light, which is light. You know, table, I put an overhead light. You know, the rest of the house here is, I'm, I'm you know, I got to kind of come up with a plan for all this. Ooh, more bottle caps. Now, got to figure out what I want to do. I've kind of rearranged this room, cleared out the junk. Um, so here is Sean's crib. Uh, his map. So what I did is, this was like a hole in the wall here. I put up a... Yeah, you can see the gap there. I could, there's a definitely a better way to do that. But I essentially put up a little piece of wall there. And also over here, there's a way to kind of get it to, when you're adding walls. See, it's like melded into the existing frame, and it's not—it's kind of like a cheat. You have to kind of not cheat, but you're—you know—it's not supposed to click into space there. But you kind of can use another object to push it up into there and get it to meld. And so it looks like I just—you know—patched essentially uh, the hole in the wall here, where I could be, previously I could have walked right into the, the washroom. So you can see the frame obviously sticking out. I do a great job, but it's an okay job. Yeah, I got my bedroom here, you know, I put just some, you know, mementos in this little, oops, shoot, that's not what I wanted to do, I always hate when I hit the wrong button. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Was it, yeah, it was this. What did I take? I don't even friggin' know what I just took. Atomic roller. It was something. It must have been something with an A, because it would have been the first, like the first thing. So transfer. Uh, sorry for wasting everyone's time. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. The veterans flag. Okay. So I put all my relatively clothes, clothes in here. You know, not armor clothes. Uh, you know, so everything is in here. I can pick out a different suit. I don't really have that many. I mean, it looks like a lot. I don't really have that many different types of clothes. I mean, a lot of these are like uniforms and stuff. And then glasses, caps, hats, brotherhood fatigues. That's also a brotherhood uniform. Uh, covert sweater vests, army fatigues. But I was looking for more stuff that's just like pants and, and shirt. You know, like so this like jacket and jeans you can do. Things like that. So, you know, I've got some stuff in there. But again, you know, not much. Oh, safe. i got to figure out what I want to put in my safe, too. TV, I can't even turn on because there's not power over here. So, and again, I want to patch. I want to see if I can patch up one or both of these walls. But I also kind of like the view. So, there's that. Uh, you know, anyway, I don't know. Freaking closet here. I don't know. There's no way to really put an, an op at least not that I know of yet, to put a functioning opening and closing door here. Yeah, everyone go home. Go to your own beds. There are beds in these other houses. Go lay in them. They like to be here because uh, I have stuff, I guess. Um, so anyway, I got a fridge. There's no way to craft a fridge as far as I'm aware. And so I had to make these little coolers, which was the closest thing I found, to hold my food. And then I was going to put the coolers in the fridge, but there's no way to do that either. So 
I added this little cooking stove in here so I can actually craft food in here so in the kitchen. And then I have my cooked food basically in here, my backups, because I'm also carrying around a lot of cooked food with me because eating it restores health. And then my raw ingredients, the stuff that needs to be cooked in this one. And so they're right next to each other. A little table that I remember sit on, you know, my couch, my TV. Shut up. Okay, so in here, this is... Ugh, you all need to go home. Uh, okay, so let's go back out the front. I wanna, we're going to go in the front to, to view all this stuff. Yeah, everyone came in, made themselves at home. I'm going to have to make them their own little playhouse. Okay, so out, okay, so out front here, we've got, obviously, a garage and a garage door that I have added. Now, this, if you remember, was an uncovered garage kind of like that or a covered garage, but an open air garage kind of like this. And I wanted to kind of develop this. And this is an idea that I stole. I saw somebody else do this and I watched a couple of the tweaks that they did. Now mine's not the same, exactly the same as theirs, but uh, in the terms of form, it is very s similar. And I kind of watched some of their tips to see how they did it. But I got some burn bar barrels out here. It's kind of a nice wasteland lighting, so to speak. I added a basketball hoop. Uh, that's house for dog meat. He can go in there. And he does, in fact, do that. He had a bowl here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, bah, bah, bah. I'm going to put some lights there and there. Now, this little contraption, this took me, this is what I was complaining about. This took me forever to figure out how to do. I was even watching people doing it in videos, and I couldn't figure out what they were doing. Um, but essentially, I have a generator up there. It's a fusion generator. I put it on my roof. We'll get to that in a second. But you had to run power from the fusion generator to the pylon. The pylon to the conduit, the conduit to the switch, the switch to the logic gate, the switch inside also to the logic gate and to the red, to the red, because that's the receive, receive input side and then the send input side or the electricity side is the black side so the black had to go to that's the conduit that comes with the garage door so it's essentially the power is going to the garage door from that s the switch to that conduit so if I disconnected that wire the garage would no longer open because the garage would not be receiving power and if I disconnected any of these wires the switches wouldn't be powered and so uh, that wouldn't work either. But it's, it's a really big deal. I can explain or I can show you how this works if anybody wants to know. But essentially I've added the switch. And so I have a fully functioning garage door that is pretty friggin' badass. And of course I've added another switch in here. And this is, you can turn that off and close the garage door. So I've got a closed garage door. So that's pretty cool. But we're going to leave it open for now. And I have attempted to make this garage essentially as garagey you know, to kind of be like, hey, this is what a, a man's garage would be, even in a, in a non-apocalyptic society, kind of just to make me feel comfortable and at home, you know, despite the fact that, you know, nuclear bombs destroyed everything. But, so, you know, I, this American flag is here because I used to be in the military. You know, we've added some junk here hanging from the wall. Got some paint cans, you know, doing some work, gasoline, a little, work, uh, little horse, I think that's called, or whatever, you know. Um, I probably could figure out a better place to store my bobbleheads, but I thought the garage would be a good place for that. You know, I got some some storage here, tool chest, which I, and then on the toolbox I don't have much in there. Got my little radio here so I can listen to some tunes. Then we got storage. Oh, got these string lights, which I love. They're perfect uh, for the environment here. Got my workout bench, which everyone seems to want to use because I guess they have nothing else to do. I'm not sure there's a ton of things they can do. Like, I even added this basketball net, but I don't think anybody can interact with it. But they can all friggin' interact with my my weight set. And they all come in here. And ever since I added this weight set, they all come in here and hang out in the weight set. If I remove the weight set, they, they don't come in as much. You know, a little battery there for I don't know doing what. The guy who I copied off of for this, and copied off of, but, well, yeah, I copied off of, he had, like, a car in here. He had, like, one of those broken-down cars, but he had it lit up. It obviously doesn't drive because there's no mechanism in Fallout for driving cars. But So, you know, obviously it made more sense to have the gas can and the battery in there for him, but it still looks fairly garagey. Um, I wanted these paint cans on this thing. I can't really get them to sit right, so I'm going to have to tweak that. You know, I got my little hunting trophy. There's a bunch of different hunting trophies you can make. 
Uh, and then we got storage, you know, so I got my table here to put chems. Now this is all the crafted chems, uh, you know, jet, medex, things like that. They're all in there. I got my explosives and melee box. These are labels. You can custom make labels or there's a pre-existing label. Like the guns one is a pre-existing label or the armor one is a pre-existing label. But these uh, ones here I had to write out myself. So I got my explosives and melee weapons in there. I got my, ant my uh, armor in here next to the armor table little trash can right there it's kind of cool I don't put anything in it but still uh, oh similar to those shelves those stacked shelves these shelves here on the wall here um, I can't get anything on them it's annoying the hell out of me because the guy whose video I watched has stuff on his shelves and so I can't figure out like he had the battery on the shelves and he had maybe the paint cans on the shelf you know I can't get anything on them to sit right on them so I got a suit of power armor in here uh, you know that's pretty cool um, you know, cabinet, nothing in there until I figure something out. My armor workbench. This is not up against the wall, and I can't get it up against the wall. There's a cheat where you can, you can use another object to attach to it and essentially then force it to push up against the wall, and I'm going to do that. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. It's not sticking out too bad, but it's annoying. I put all my... You pick up all these recordings, messages, you know, uh, logs, notes, things like that. Uh, I just put all that stuff in there. It won't let you get rid of quest stuff. It's you have to keep the quest stuff in your inventory, but the stuff that's I've I've no longer you know from quests that I've already done, I dumped it all in there because I don't want to be carrying that around. Even though it's no weight, I don't want to carry it around anymore. Nice little Nuka Cola clock up there, you know, telling the time. Yeah, so uh, this is pretty tits. You know, it's uh, I probably could add, add some more stuff to the walls, make it feel a little bit more. Uh, customized, but yeah, I mean, this is an awesome garage. I wish there was a way to get rid of these leaves, but friggin' developers decided to make them just permanent textures, I guess. So that's annoying. We already showed you inside the house, obviously. Uh, and, uh, yeah, everyone left now for the evening. I guess they come and do their little workouts, and then they go home. Which is fine. Uh, I don't know how to... There's a, that bed inside here. It says needs to be assigned, but it needs to be assigned to me and no one else. I don't know how to do that either. Uh, essentially, I mean, I can sleep in it, but when you go into the workshop mode, it says it's unassigned, and I want to make sure no one else ever sleeps in my bed, except hot chicks. So, uh, ba 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 ba. Let's close this, and we're gonna go up here now because that's you know once I added this garage because once I, you know I extended out the garage because oh let me show you because the garage before it ended right here. You know, so I've essentially extended the garage out, and once you've extended the garage out, you're left with, you know, a roof that I added, kind of, and some platforming up there, and that's just now begging for to put something on top. And by putting something on top, it kind of, I realized I couldn't go, because of the curvature of the roof, I couldn't go much more towards the center, so I had to kind of hang it out, hang it out over the edge. As you can see that this wood hangs out over the edge here, that line, and so once I did that, I said, well, I, well why not extend it out a little further? So uh, these uh, concrete pylons here are just for show. The, the wood does stay there uh, standing up without them, but I thought it looked like it made sense that there would be uh, pylons there. So you can walk back here, go on a little path. Uh, this fence is not here in the uh, original version of the game, and I don't know how to craft. I think there's you had to find a book somewhere that tells you how to craft these picket fences, which I don't have yet, but I did. I was able to move the gate from the other side to this side because I come through this side more often. So we get around to the back here. Um, you're going to see I got the power again running from the generator down to this pylon. Uh, I ran it over to this pylon so I can run it into the house because I thought I had to essentially run the wires into the house, but I figured out there's another way. Uh, I'll show you my backyard real quick. I got a little campfire constantly going here with some chairs. A uh, picnic table for parties, another cooking station out here because I just figured that made sense. And, of course, a little uh, patio furniture grill which I can't interact with and my chem station so I figured that would be would make sense I guess I could put that in the garage but I feel like a chemistry station you want maybe open air you know you're not inhaling fumes go up on my roof real quick pa -pa 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 -pa. I got you know a laser no I'm sorry it's a missile launcher right there laser gun right there you want some extra protection not just the you know the five millimeter gun downstairs there's my hundred power fusion generator so that's uh, constantly running. I got the power going uh, to all the weapons and running down there. Okay, so here is my 
man cave. I got my custom made red oak sign because I love red oak. Uh, I feel like maybe I should separate the red and the oak, which I can do. You know, a little light there just for show, a little traffic light. Some posters here on the wall. They're lit up poster boxes, really, even though they say, they say posters. You can turn those on and off. Couch, radio, because again, with the TV, you know, there's nothing really going on, so you figure you get some actual talk over the radio. Uh, Coke machine, oh yeah. Got some more string lights. I only went two over with them because then it interfered with my Rolling Rock. Yes, my other favorite beer. Liquors. I have an ice chest, and of course, here in the ice chest, we keep all our beer, Nuka Cola, purified water, you know, Gwinnett Stout, things like that. Uh, I'm going to make an effort now to start picking up more of the bourbon, vodka, things like that. Pool table, which again, I can't interact with. It's so stupid that you create these things and then no one comes up and plays pool because that would be fun. I come up here and see my townspeople playing pool. That would be awesome. Uh, so I'm going to move that sign down a little bit. It looks like it's bumping the lights. But anyway, this is my man cave. Uh, pretty, pretty tight. i uh, got a little balcony right here. Um, got the wire fence meshing so I don't fall off. That's not really straight. You can see there's a little gap right there. There's a gap over there. But you know what? Friggin' close enough. Took way too much time to do this. Uh, already and so yeah I mean this is my house my addition and I think this is pretty awesome for a themed type of uh, you know post-apocalyptic wrecked kind of living situation I got here you know I got my stairs so that's that's pretty much it now let me show you something else Brad I don't know if you figured this out or know this um, so two things we have the wires you can wire something direct if something says it needs electricity and it uh has the lightning bolt indicating that it needs electricity and a number next to it you have to connect a wire directly to it if it just says it needs electricity uh it can be it can receive radiated electricity i'm going to come back to you in a second because i got to sell some stuff so let me show you what i mean let's go into crafting mode here uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so these, he just says, requires electricity. Uh, conduits, I don't understand this 100% fully, but when you run conduits, uh, such as, you know, like the electric that's running here with this conduit, uh, when, it's, when the conduit is connected to uh, a thing, I think the conduit kind of broadcasts electricity in a few feet radius so I hung up these lights and they immediately turned on because it's essentially receiving broadcast electricity uh, but over here on this side they were not and because they were outside the broadcast radius uh, so I had to run electricity I had to put a conduit on this side for these to receive their broadcast electricity which I did uh, and I could do that just on the back wall, which I did. He saw that there was stuff out there. I think that's close enough. Uh, however, certain things like this is requires one. So it's a bolt and a one. And so that needs to have a, a power line connected directly to it. So that creates a problem because I think there's a, a cheat way to avoid this. I think you can connect something. If you run a wire to something like, and I placed, for example, this switch, I could have placed out here, and I could connect a wire to it, and it's fine. And then, and then I can connect it to like a pylon, or you know, one of those. You know, I could connect it to one of these concrete wall posts, and I could move them both in here, and I could kind of push it up against this thing. And that's kind of a cheat to get it into place. And then the wire will run through the wall. Uh, but that's not how it's supposed to work, and it doesn't always work. It only sometimes works. So I was left with the question, and that's actually how I got that one in there. I used the pylon, the you know the the concrete wall trick to move it in but I was left with the question of how do I get the wires to run through walls and apparently there is a way to do that uh, that I think they may have added with an expansion you have to use one of these conduit wall pass-throughs so it's essentially if, if Brad you don't know how to do this uh, I'm just gonna kinda show you you get one of these here uh, conduit wall pass-throughs let me show you what that looks like it's a conduit attached to like this metal bar. Oops, let me kind of zoom out here. Uh, see how you get the, the, the loop at the end or the loop at the top? 
I want to put, just put it back into place there. So you can run this. This is designed now to, you know, to light up blue and connect through the wall. So I can connect the edge of the conduit out here, right there. So I connect this wire to another conduit there, and then to that, to this pylon, which goes up to the generator. So I've strung my electricity and these conduits, I believe, like that conduit and these con that conduit is broadcasting electricity to the back of the room. But for this power armor station, which is lighted, which is lighted up, you see those lights are on, requires one, so I have to have a direct wire. I add another, wait, where is it? Right here. I, add, I can add a conduit junction to the end of that, uh, you know, those, those curves. And then I can run the junction to the thing, and that's now drawing the one power. So that is how you get the electricity through the walls. It's something I took a very long time to figure out. Um, and you know some of the operation of these switches are very complicated too and i haven't even re i kind of explain i kind of explained to you how that works but not really so uh these are things i can help you out with more if anybody wants to know these things what else was, was i going to say oh so up uh, blah, 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 blah. i was going to say upstairs i think something uh so up here i also had that problem so i had another conduit here you know the one of these through wall conduits connected right to the generator and then I, um, I actually ran this conduit here all the way to this side. And because now I didn't have a conduit like this on this side, I put one of these here. It's a power radiator. And so the power radiator, again, will power the rolling rock sign, power the fan, power the string lights. And they are now all within the radius, the television, etc. So uh, whereas these things I have actually got directly hooked up to the conduit, uh, because they don't have a number next to them, they don't need to be hooked up to the conduit, I don't think, but I do have them hooked up. The rest of these things, the television, uh, the rolling rock sign, all those things, are receiving electricity via the broadcaster. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to show you that. I'm going to do some more things eventually with this town. I'm kind of going to kind of fortify it and make it make this kind of my model town so to speak. I don't know if I'm going to put up a barrier around the entire perimeter of the town, but I'm going to make some more houses at some point. I'm going to build up, build up the infrastructure a little bit more. But that's kind of it. That's what I wanted to show everyone. I think it's pretty sweet, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have done or can come up with. So uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.